Today at Decoy Shark, we're going to give you an overview of some of the greater aspects of San Diego Comic Con, as well as some tips to help you make the most of your time there. So without further ado... The basics of Comic Con have been covered again and again by more sites than there are nerds, so for the benefit of us all, here's a real quick rundown of a few points. Tickets! You got them? Good! You don't! That's a damn dirty shame, my friend. They sell out in a matter of minutes, and if you get a second chance, they sell out just as fast. Tickets are not available at the door. So, for those of you who missed both sales, I am truly sorry. Shelter. Hotel reservations go almost as fast as the tickets themselves, but if you didn't find a room, all hope is not lost. Twitter is your friend. Find some strangers and sleep on their floor. At this time of year, it's really not that unusual for between six and 4,000 people to share a room at Comic-Con. Snuggle up, hobbits. If this is not for you, then I highly recommend camping. Yep, camping. You can get a pitch nearby for around $30 a night. Sure, you might have to drive for around half hour to get to and from the convention center. But if you do the math, including car rental, you can save a lot over a hotel. But you know, bears are an issue. And I'm not just talking about this fella. Getting to the con. Most hotels have a free shuttle that runs for 24 hours. So check the SDCC website to see if yours is on the list. If you're planning on driving, you can actually reserve a parking spot for your car near the convention center or on one of the shuttle routes. Easy. And finally, shower. Please guys, for all of us, you know who you are. If you want to level up, then you have to have the right gear. And the Comic-Con main quest is no different. So pack well. If you're cosplaying and bringing a fake weapon, choose your weapon wisely. Make it well, but make it safe. Getting through airport security with a plasma rifle? That can be a real headache. And the con security can be even worse, especially when you're trying to make that panel. Comic-Con is a feat of stamina at times, so it really helps to make it as pleasant as possible. Those comfy shoes that you've had for six years that just feel so damn comfortable might not be so comfy after a 16 hour day. Buy a new pair, or at least some insoles. You'll thank me later. Get a backpack with two straps. That satchel, it's really gonna take its toll on your shoulder after a few hours. Plus, with a two strap affair, you might even find a way to attach that poster tube that contains all of that original art that you dropped a pretty penny on. Not to mention all of the free posters that are going to be thrown your way as soon as you walk through the door. You're going to get a lot of free stuff. Convention food is lacking in both variety and in nutritional value. Don't get me wrong, I love pizza and hot dogs. I do. But you pay a hefty fee for that extra waste baggage and Frankly, it doesn't taste all that great. So pack yourself a sandwich, maybe some granola bars, and be sure to rate the free breakfast at your hotel. Get your tech in order. You know how quickly your phone battery dies on an average day. It will die even faster at Comic-Con. So pick up an extra battery. Hell, grab yourselves two, because plug sockets are hard to find. Also, if you're heading to San Diego from further afield, maybe think about picking up a SIM card. You can grab them on eBay for like $10. There is no Wi-Fi at Comic-Con. Why no Wi-Fi? Why? Perhaps the most overpopulated room on the planet, the Exhibition Hall is the nerd mecca of exclusives, artists, video games, and pungent smells. Ladies and gentlemen, here be the goodies. Make sure you bring plenty of cash. There are ATMs, but if they don't run out of money, you're more than likely run out of patience waiting in line for them. Also, when you see that thing that you want, buy it. If you don't, then someone inevitably will. More than likely just as soon as you walk away from the booth. But if you can't pick it up right then and there, then at least write down the booth number so you can find it again. But it's probably gone. Okay? Okay. If you're planning on wearing your cosplay on the exhibition floor, then be prepared to have your picture taken. A lot. Especially if you're dressed like Chun-Li. 
So take a smile and a ton of patience and, you know, maybe consider leaving the costume at home for your dedicated shopping day. Or your alone time with, uh, with that guy that you met on the exhibition floor who kind of looked a bit like Nathan Fillion. Hidden amongst the bigger booths are the small independent artists. Talk to them. Some of these guys have waited their entire lives to be at Comic-Con. Let's give them the time they deserve. And who knows? You might even be speaking to the next Jim Lee. And keep your eyes open when you're on the exhibition floor. Celebrities are known to wander off from their agents and it can be you who takes advantage of them in their panic-stricken states. Just be polite and be succinct. The schedule, or Con Bible as I like to call it, goes up about two weeks before the main event itself. Take a day to study it and make yourselves a plan. Then make a plan B. The trick to the con is to pick your panels wisely. If you try and see it all, then you risk seeing nothing. So make a backup plan. These rooms all have limits, and often there are more people trying to get in that can actually fit. Especially for the larger names. You can spend, I don't know, six hours trying to get into the Game of Thrones panel and not make it. But in that time, you could see some other really cool things going on around the con. I'm not saying don't try. But just pick your battles to avoid disappointment. While in these massive lines, talk to people. Make some friends. Never in your life are you going to be in a position where you have so many like-minded people around you. If conversation runs dry, or you're one of those rare, elusive, introvert nerds, then make sure you bring something to read, watch, or listen to. Or hey, maybe buy something from one of those independent artists I mentioned earlier. At least 50% of your time at the con is going to be spent in line. So, Make it comfortable for yourself. Buy a foldable stool. Nobody likes sitting on the floor. I enjoy getting up from the floor even less. As for line etiquette, holding a place in line for a friend is one thing. Just let those around you know from the get-go. Holding a place for six people is downright villainous. So be nice, folks. Over the last few years, it's become apparent that the convention centre simply isn't big enough to hold all of the events known to man. Who knew? So off-site activities have become a really big thing. Leading the charge is Zachary Levi's Nerd HQ, who offer their own events, panels and screenings. And you don't even have to be a ticket holder to attend. But anything going on around the con, and to make sure you don't miss out on that top secret brony event that's going on just a few blocks from the convention center, make sure you follow as many people as you can on Twitter. We found these guys really helpful. So remember guys, if you can't attend any, or all four days of the event, there is still plenty for you to do to raise that Comic-Con XP. Check out sdccblog.com for a comprehensive list of everything going on in and around the city. So lastly, and perhaps most importantly, relax. Don't be afraid to leave the wolf pack. Making the most out of your time at Comic-Con can be a real headache when you have four or five other people in tow. Plus it makes chasing down that Chun-Li cosplay so much more difficult. The con can be overwhelming for us all, but if you take it in stride, realize that you just might not see everything that you want to and focus on having the best possible time, then I promise that's exactly what you're gonna do. Feel free to ask any questions or leave more suggestions in the comments below. And if you see me wandering around the con, come and say hi. Consider following us on Twitter or subscribing to Decoy Shock for more videos and general tomfoolery. Have a great con.